My next guest is one of the most consistently funny performers in this business. And he's a good buddy of mine, Marty Allen. Hello Marty. there, Mike. And you know Carol, don't you? Carol, Hi, wonderful. You do. I, <laughs> I like you better as Carol Kane than Bo Derek. Thank you. You Glad brought me a book tonight. Before I do anything, before, before I do anything, I was told to tell you, I was watching the game. It's 11-2 Milwaukee. No, wrong. <laughs> no, wrong. 500, 5 nothing. St. Louis. St. Louis, no kidding. I knew you, that would be important to you. That's important to me, very Now important. it's the Mike Douglas show. You have an announcement to make, I am told. Oh, yeah. you got a show. He's got his own show. I'm so I'm going to be a uh, host of a show called The Fun House, and I will be the host uh, introducing new comedians and comedians. And okay. uh, where are you going to do it? Cable show will be done in Phoenix, Sun Bear Productions, uh, uh, That's wonderful. Channel 5 out of uh, Phoenix, That's and uh, start November 5th. Are there any young comics on the scene presently that you're impressed with? Most of them are in Washington and gov <laughs> in President, gov <laughs> President Reagan's cabinet. <laughs> but I got three of them coming in. No, I know how Haig you... may be there. He's making a movie in which he dies in his own arms. But as soon as it's over, <laughs> he'll be on. <laughs> but you've got a good eye and a good yeah you know, for, for, for talent and have told me so many things that have... Uh, I mean, I'll never forget you giving me a book years ago and I... I was out here on a trip, and I went back to the hotel and read it and called you up, and I couldn't believe it. I said, where did you get this? It's the Godfather. This is the first man who gave me that. He gave me Thornbirds and yeah. before anyone had... Gave you uh, Day of the Jackal and yeah. Sidney Shelton's The oh, Other Sydney Side Shelton. of Midnight. Yeah, The Side of Midnight before. I read that In before. fact, this weekend I'm doing World of Books uh, on cable with uh, Bill Stout. Have you always been a, a, an avid reader, Mike? Well, you know, I'm on the road so much, Mike, that... Uh, I just, I get on a plane, I take about four or five books with me and to make the trip more pleasant, read a book. And, uh... How many books one? a week do you read? Well, I was reading about four or five a week. Anything that you can recommend right now? I knew well, you, the you one just, I gave you, you just gave Red me Smith. Oh, I loved Red Smith. And, uh, Judith Cranch's new book, The Mistral's Daughter. And also, uh, I just finished last night The Three Stooges Scrapbook. That has everything, and you're in it, by the way. Oh, you know. You made a statement in which you said their legacy oh, will live forever. I never forgot. You know, the one thing I admire so much in this business, besides talent, is professionalism. When, mm -hmm. And I don't understand some of the young people who have made names for themselves who will make a date to do a show, and you're costing you a fortune, you know, to take. Mm -hmm. And it'll be time to start the show, and, and everybody's backstage, and they'll say, her hair's not ready yet. You know, that kind of stuff. I never said that. When Little Mo, <laughs> when Little Mo of the Three yeah. Stooges would do a scene, come on my show, and we were going to do a little comedy scene, he'd be there all ready to rehearse. I mean, with his everything, well, they were would know great. every line, every move, totally professional. And I had such admiration for him. He was just mm. wonderful little Well, in reading the uh, book, it mentioned the fact that the, you said the legacy that they leave the millions and millions of their fans. Oh, those things will play forever. Yeah, forever. You just told me you came from Vegas where you did Circus of the Stars. Yeah, this is the seventh year I've done it. Now, Marty, <laughs> working with animals, we both know that despite what the, what the trainers say, they things can't. happen, boy. Those animals do it their way, right? Well, I... And didn't you just do something to, uh, I worked with the orangutan this year. It was in the second Clint Eastwood movie, oh, CJ. Yeah. He was also in the Bo Derrick. Uh, too. Yeah. Also on the boat there yeah. in the movie. And the picture called the Mafu. Yeah. yeah love They're them. so lovable. Yeah. Oh, he so is. Great. But, it's but he looks you over pretty good. The strength of those And I is told him, I said, uh, we'll work it out. So they, they said, well, what would you do with him? You just, we just do the signals, you know, and show the, what he does. I said, no, I'll write a sketch. So I wrote a sketch about CJ and I being on a double date together. And I walk out on the stage, on the, in the circus in the center ring and said, CJ, uh, the girl's going to show up, and he goes, <laughs> <laughs> and we proceeded to do a oh, little shtick like that, fun. sat at the bar. Didn't I see you, did I dream this, or did I see you wrestle a bear? On that the... was last year. The bear tried to eat me, <laughs> and uh, it was a wrestling bear, and I threw him down, and he, uh, he said what it wasn't in, supposed to be. So he got mad and he tried to get me and shake me, you know. How much did he weigh? Head. About 600 pounds at least. Oh, yeah. Pounds. He was unbelievable. The year before was the elephant. I laid under the... And the elephant stepped over me. 
Now that's something. But when they put their foot right over your head. Yeah, he had yeah, his foot right over me. Like this? But I, I was cool. I said, I'm a Republican. You know, I wouldn't tell him. <laughs> I know you're a big sports fan, Marty. What do you think of the football strike? Got to well, they, they gave one of the players on the Tampa Bay team a picket sign, and he dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> big trouble. It's, it, the whole thing has got me crazy because I love football so much. I'm waiting. I figured the Steelers the will be going to the suffering. Super Bowl. Forget what the players are going through. Most of the players are. Well, the only thing is, I, but the fans, yeah, the are fans are going crazy. Sundays. The only thing you do, Mike, is uh, took two cases of beer and zonked out. And I, I got over the fact that uh, you know that I didn't see any of the games, but I missed Sunday. Yeah, Sunday is all different now. I mean, I, yeah. my staff tells me you've got a funny story about a guy named Arthur, right? Well, this, uh, this is so. It's so human that it's it's really warm. Is that the family, the man, he's 90 years old, and they gave him a ticket to the baseball game. And he loved the Dodgers, and uh, they gave him a $50 bill, and he bought a hot dog, a beer, a cap, and a cushion. Now he's walking in. <laughs> Wait, don't you gotta get away from the sound? Uh, oh, I will. <laughs> yeah. All right. I figure that he's. I'll do it this way. I'll make it very good. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Show business is my life. All right. He walks in. He walks in the aisle. He's got the cap and the cushion, the hot dog and the beer. And he's walking in. And he hears, huh? Well, schlepping in. And he hears, Arthur. And he says, oh, would you hold my hot dog and my beer, my cushion, my program? And turns around. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And he walks and he hears, Arthur. He says, would you hold the hot dog and the, beer, <laughs> the cushion and the cat? Turns around. Looks. Thank you very much. Picks up all the things. And he's walking and he goes, Arthur. He says, would you hold the hot dog and the beer, the cushion and the cat? My name's not Arthur. <laughs> 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 I think I know him. <laughs> Please stay for our next guest party. And we're coming right back with Phil Garner and his Better Living catalog. <laughs> Will you stop calling him? He's one of